number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Another tree in New York crashes down, a large limb this time falling and nearly killing a woman in Central Park. And dramatic video, a mom's fast moves to save her baby when an out-of-control cra cab crashes right into her stroller. The baby suddenly trapped underneath the car, and it's all caught on camera. Good evening, I'm Shade Better and Wong. And I'm Bill Ritter, the mother wasting no time using all her strength to pull her child to safety. The terrifying accident in the Longwood section of the Bronx, I was using reporter Carolina Lee at Lincoln Hospital where the baby is tonight. Carolina. Yeah, Bill and Sade, it really is amazing that 17-year-old Alondra Gervasio and her daughter Perla were only treated for minor injuries here at Lincoln Hospital, especially when you look at this surveillance video and see that car came so close to killing them both. Watch as the 17-year-old mother pushes a baby stroller along the sidewalk as the driver of this livery cab jumps the curb. She tries to move out of the way, but there's just not enough time. The car tosses the teen in the air, trapping her eight-month-old baby in the stroller underneath the vehicle. If I would have saw the baby crushed, I would have been in the hospital right now mentally. In a split second, the mother jumps to her feet, dives under the car for her baby, and yanks the child to safety. Witnesses in the Longwood section of the Bronx ran over to help. We felt the impact. Dr. Rachel Rosansky just happened to be at the intersection of Prospect and Westchester Avenue just before one Tuesday afternoon and did everything she could. Dr. Rosansky says the driver was slumped over the wheel well before impact. I, I, I couldn't really find the pulse, um, and he was, but he was still breathing a little bit. Police say the driver suffered a heart attack and lost consciousness, hitting the victims, two cars, and a donut shop. George Martinez says he worked for his company and looked fine at the start of his shift. He's a nice and responsible driver. Never, never do one thing, never, you know, all responsible drivers. And the cause of death for that driver has not yet officially been released. His name has not been released yet, pending family notification. We're live at Lincoln Hospital on Carolina Lead, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.